Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome. We will discuss optimality issues in 2 to the power k factorial design. So, before going to the optimality issues, I will discuss with reference to 2 to the power 2 design that the regression surface as well as how the regression coefficients are estimated. Uh, you have already seen this one, but I, I, I want to repeat it. So, you see this uh, this page and I am 100 percent sure that all those terms written here is known to you. The first one is talking about the geometric representation of 2 to the power 2 design. Here we have two factors a and b when you use the same thing in regression we denote them by x 1 and x 2 and x 1 has two labels x 2 also has two labels the labels are denoted by minus 1 and plus 1 as high and low respectively and when you conduct experiment keeping both the factors at low level or minus 1 minus 1 level the the total observations what you obtained with response to with reference to the y the response variable denoted by within bracket 1 when only at a at high level it will be represented by a only uh, b or x 2 at high level it will be represented by b and when both the factors will be at high level it will be represented by y y will be total of y will be represented by a b. Okay. Now, the same thing when we use the geometric sign that algebraic signs. So, the geometric view geometric view analogous representation in algebraic sign is this. What here we have four treatment combinations 1 a b and a b and x 1 or a is having the values minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 x 2 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 and if you multiply both you will get x 1 x 2 that is a b factor interaction a b or x 1 and x 2 this will be plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 okay. and the corresponding y total exactly the treatment combination what the way we, we are basically follow we are writing in this fashion you may write in other way but this is what is the practice then you see left hand side here i have given you the regression equation with uh, that is that is basically first order regression equation with interactions for this 2 to the power 2 factorial design. So, here y equal to beta 0, beta 1 x 1, beta 2 x 2, beta 1 to x 1 and x 2. So, beta 0 is the intercept term, beta 1, beta 2 are the main effect, beta 1 to the interaction effect and error. So, the same can be written in matrix form y equal to x beta plus epsilon where y is the response values at different experimental runs, x is the design matrix, beta is the coefficient regression coefficient to be estimated, epsilon is the vector representing the error terms. Okay. So, then come to this side, here what happened in this particular equation with re, what are the different terms like x first here there are four independent observations independent observations in the sense i am saying independent treatment settings and either the average or the total at each 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 uh, independent uh, treatment settings is considered here we are considering here total sometimes average also can be used now the first column is actually contains all the four ones this is for beta 0 the second third and fourth column 
with reference to beta 1, beta 2 and beta 1, beta 2 uh, so that is uh, for from estimation point of view. Other way I can write that this first column is beta 0 here 1 x 0 is multiplied which taken all the time value 1. Then second third fourth column with respect to x 1, x 2 and x 1, x 2. So, this is known as design matrix. This is the response vector, this is the error vector and there is another vector called beta which is beta 0, beta 1, beta 2 and beta 1, 2. This part is known to you. Now, when we ask you that you estimate the parameters, what you will do? You will find out S S E which is epsilon i square sum of i equal to 1 to 1 to your number of observations that may be let it be n. Okay. And then what do we do? This will be nothing but y i minus beta 0 minus beta i 1 x 1 minus beta i 2 x 2 minus beta i 1 2 x 1 x 2 this square. And obviously, i equal to 1 to n number of observations. Okay. Then you will find out del S S E by del beta 0 put 0, del S S E by del beta 1 put 0 or de similarly del S S E by del beta 2 put 0, del S S E by del beta 1 2 put 0 and then get you how many equation you will get for how many parameters 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 equation you will get. Solving these 4 equations you will be getting all the estimates. Okay. So, this is what we will be discussing now content is basically the optimality issues with and when you are talking about optimality issues it is related to the to, to, to the variance variance optimality variance because you are what you are doing you are estimating beta. So, what will be the your best estimate that which is which is basically having minimum beta variance of beta estimate. So, using this equation y equal to x beta plus epsilon suppose that you can use it as a prediction purpose y will be x beta cap. Now, you want to minimize the variance of predicted portion. So, similarly there are different uh, different uh, estimation issues here and for every every uh, such cases. So, depending on the situation you may your design may help you to optimize the situations like variance minimize the variance for the beta estimate minimize beta the prediction error this is what is the known as optimality issues in in to the power k factorial design as such this is true for any regression model and this is true for all kind of regression uh, design only the mathematics portion will change little bit depending on the design and the data available. Okay. So, these issues we will be discussing here and we, we again we are basically taking uh, the information from uh, this book. Uh, that uh, Montgomery book uh, chapter 6. So, <coughs> the explanation I have given you that if you if you find out the S S E and then uh, then basically if you just go for um, S S E by beta 0, beta 1 all those things you will actually estimate the uh, beta values this part we have seen earlier. I have shown you earlier also. So, now he, here what happened uh, in addition to that we are actually what I am giving you because as x 1 and x 2 takes only minus or plus 1 values. So, if you put this into into this all those minus 1 and plus 1 and this then you are basically getting this matrix. What is the matrix? What is the matrix? Basically matrix actually I will be giving you here and all those things this matrix 
that beta 1, beta 0, beta 2, all those things, this is the application. So, we have four y values 1, a, b, and a, b, and x 1 column uh, x, uh, x 1 column is minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 see minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 x 2 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 and this one minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 and this. So, if you if you um, just um, write down separately what you will get 1 is beta 0 minus beta 1 minus beta 2 plus beta 1 to plus epsilon 1 okay. and then the estimation point of view this is the this is what is the formula least square ordinary least square formula x transpose x inverse x transpose y. So, if your data x is this x is this one then x transpose will be this and then when you multiply these two you will get a very interesting matrix here you see the diagonal elements are 4 of diagonal elements are 0 getting me. So, here you come back come back to this you have 1 2 3 4 4 independent basically distinct observations here means at each experimental setting you may get many observations but you are taking total or average of this and then you are making them as a distinct observa distinct observations. So, there are 4 because if it is 2 to the power 2 design if it is 2 to the power 3 it will be 8 2 to the power 4 it will be 16 like this. So, your these 4 things are now if you if you want to include that no each observations also will be uh, the replications will be there then it will be 4 n 4 n 4 n. 4 n 4 n 4 n it will be there uh, like this. Now, if you multiply x transpose o into y another interesting one you are getting this this also I have explained earlier. So, now what happened you are basically getting the this if you if you think that this th that means the second third and fourth these are nothing but the contrast for Mm, that is a b and a b effects ok. So, left hand side that means now beta cap is multiplying these two will give you what. So, if you take the inverse of this this will become diagonal element will become 1 by 4 and off diagonal element will become will be will remain 0 and then your calculation will be like this. So, all the contrast this will be divided by 4. So, the x transpose x matrix is diagonal because 2 to the power 2 design is orthogonal this is the key things here we wanted to show you. So, because of orthogonal design so you are getting off diagonal elements 0 there is no covariance in dependency between them and here open the least square estimates of the model regression curve exactly equal to one half of usual effect estimates that also we have seen earlier if you if you estimate the effect you will uh, what you will write down contrast by 2 to the power k minus 1 into n contrast by 2 to the power k minus 1 into n that sense you do. So, 2 to the power now if uh, as we have taken total or average this part will not come. So, it will be by 2 to the power k minus 1 then contrast by 2 to the power 2 minus 1. So, it will be contrast by 2 that will be the effect of a b like this, but here is the regression coefficient we have shown you that <coughs> beta j if regression coefficient and effect is a j then this is the relationship earlier we have shown you. Okay. So, with reference to this x transpose x beta and the prediction part y cap then we will we will explain now the optimality issues. First of all, what will be the estimate of variance of beta? If you recall the regression lectures, there we have seen shown you that variance of beta cap is sigma square x transpose x inverse. Okay. 
actually the estimated if you know sigma square you would straight away write down sigma square. Suppose I write sigma square this. Now that is because you have beta 0, beta 1 like this, but if I want to know the this is other way I we can we have written as covariance. Now, if I write variance of beta j cap then this is sigma j square the jth element of jth diagonal element of x transpose x inverse. So, x transpose x inverse for 2 to the power 2 design is 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4 and other part is of diagonal are 0. So, that means everything divided by 1 by 4. So, actually what happened then? So, variance of any beta component with any beta cap will be sigma square by 4. Okay. Now, and this is what is the minimum variance, this is what is the minimum variance. Okay. Now, let us let us write the read out the points here. The minimum possible variance of any model regression coefficient in a 2 to the power k design is sigma square divided by 2 to the power k into n. Now, a design that minimizes variance of beta cap is known as d optimal design. So, this is it is a mathematical issue that d optimal design, but from the practical uh, practice point of view, but from our application point of view. So, a d optimal design is one which minimizes the variance of the estimated parameters here. Now, the d terminology is used here because it maximizes the determinant of x transpose x, the d is coming from the determinant part. So, that is why it is known as d optimal design and to the power k design the way we have explained the actually that is that is what the to the power 2 k design also. The to the power k design is a d optimal design and it a for first order model and first order model with interactions. So, essentially what we have done then we have explained from optimality point of view that variance of beta this should be minimized and it is done into the power k design using the least square estimates in the manner that it optimizes the determinant of this or maximizes this determinant of this and collectively this of design is known as d optimal design. So, what do I mean that d optimal design is one which which minimizes the variance of beta cap and to the power k design is d optimal design to the power k design with a uh, first order uh, uh, with uh, with inter and with interaction also it is d optimal design. Okay. So, this is the first second we will see another variance suppose when we say y cap is x beta cap and many a times what happened we will be interested to know the variance of predicted value. Okay. So, that means variance of predicted value that may be variance of y suppose x 1 and x 2 here we are writing y y cap x 1 and x 2 because only to the power 2 design we are x we have taken for explanation purpose. So, then what will happen what will happen to this this will be beta 0 cap plus beta 1 x 1 beta 1 cap x 1 beta 2 cap x 2 beta 1 2 cap x 1 and x 2 this is the predicted part. So, that means, you are interested to know the variance of beta 0 cap plus variance of okay, this plus this plus beta 2 cap x 2 plus beta 1 2 cap x 1 and x 2. Now, x 1 x 2 all those things are fixed values because you have seen the design matrix. 
So, can it not be written that this is now again what I mean to say that this beta 1 beta 0 this orthogonal design. So, that you have seen the covariance part of beta b 0 is 0. So, because of independence we can write that this is beta variance of beta 0 cap then x 1 square variance of beta 1 cap plus x 2 square variance of beta 2 cap plus x 1 square x 2 square variance of beta 1 2 cap. So, what is beta v variance of beta 0 cap that is sigma square by 4 we have seen earlier. So, then x 1 square into sigma square by 4 x 2 square into sigma square by 4 plus x 1 square x 2 square into sigma square by 4. So, it is sigma square by 4 into 1 plus x 1 square plus x 2 square plus x 1 square x 2 square. Okay. So, this is variance of predicted response, this is known as variance of predicted response. Suppose all if x 1 x 2 0 0 what will happen? So, this value will be suppose then variance of y cap given x 1 equal to 0 x 2 equal to 0 this value is sigma square by 4. If variance of y cap x 1 equal to 1 x 2 equal to 0. So, this will be this what will happen this one will be sigma square by 2 or other way this is equal to variance of y cap x 1 equal to 0 and x 2 equal to 1. If we put variance y cap x 1 equal to 1 and x 2 equal to 1 what will happen this one sigma square by 4 into 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So, this will become sigma square. So, this is what is the maximum variance that can occur in the in the response uh, when you predict because when all x 1 and x 2 both are at the um, high level 1 uh, x 1 1 x 2 1. So, that means that the corner points basically as the everything is the square term whether x 1 1 or plus 1 or minus 1 those corner point that maximum variance occur. Okay. So, what we require then we require a design that will minimizes the maximum of predicted variance. So, we you want a design that minimize minimize the maximum of predicted maximum variance maximum of variance of predicted value. So, minimize the mini maximum variance for the predicted response will occur at the corner points and you want a design that minimize this one this design known is known as G optimal design. Okay. And to the power k design factorial design is g optimal with first order and model first order model and with interaction model and model with first order model with interaction interaction are g optimal. Okay. So, this is the second issue, second uh, optimality issue here. Now, you, you read out the this point third here the last but one point the smallest possible value of the maximum prediction variance over the design space is p sigma square by n where p is the number of model parameters and n is the number of runs in the design. This is what is the smallest possible value of this maximum prediction variance. To the power k designs are or g optimal designs for fitting the first order model and first order model with interactions. Suppose, you have lot of points. 
So, you you want to you, you want to see that what will be the predict predicted variance for at a lot of points you are not basically predicting at one point you have lot of several points. So, that means what will happen the you will find out different kind of variance at different predicted variance at different points. So, under such situation what happen you will basically find out the average prediction variance. So, we are talking about average prediction. So, this average prediction variance is denoted by you just first find out the total area here we have the what is the design space x 1 minus 1 2 plus 1 and x 2 minus 1 2 plus 1. So, within this design page what is my variance of this one they that predicted one x 1 x 2. So, you integrate this d x 1 and d x 2 this is basically total you are getting. Now, once you divide it by the area 1 by a. So, then you are getting the average prediction variance this is the formula. Okay. So, now let us think a 2 to the power 2 factorial design case what is this. So, this is minus 1 uh, sorry let me write out then minus 1 plus 1 what is this length then minus plus 1 to plus 1 this is 2 similarly minus 1 plus 1 what is the length this is 2. So, what is the area 2 into 2 4. So, I will write this then 1 by a here minus 1 to plus 1 and then minus 1 to plus 1 and then what is this value you have already seen what is the predicted uh, variance of this I think variance of this you see we have written variance of this equal to sigma square by 4 into this. Hmm? So, you write down this one as sigma square by 4 and this is 1 by 4 I am writing a equal to 4 1 by 4 sigma square by 4 into 1 plus x 1 square plus x 2 square plus x 1 square into x 2 square d x 1 and d x 2. So, first you do it with reference to d x 1 then put the values and d x 2 put the values then the resultant value will be 4 sigma square by 9. So, in 2 to the power 2 design average prediction variance is 4 sigma square by 9. Now, what you want? You want also this to be minimized. The minimization of average prediction variance when you have a lot of points to in the design pairs, you are predicting the values at lot of in the design space lot of values. So, this is known as I optimal design I optimal design. Okay. So, <coughs> so these are the few things you learned that your design is uh, when you develop regression surface. So, that time how you use regression equation that is that you have learned earlier today we have we have repeated this thing. Then we say that when you are estimating some of the parameters the variance of those parameters to be minimum and that was that is in mathematics known as d optimal design. So, we have seen that to the power k design is d optimal for the first order and first order model with interactions and then uh, we have we have shown you that g optimality. So, g optimal design is one which minimizes the maximum prediction variance and we have seen that our 2 to the power k design is g optimal and finally, uh, i optimal design and here in the case of 2 to the power k design the i optimal value is 4 sigma square by a and this is i optimal also. So, this is little bit advanced topic for that optimality issue that optimality issue we will be dealing further 
uh, in detail uh, in uh, response surface when we discuss response surface meteorology that time this uh, optimality will again come and do we will discuss to some extent there also. Okay, thank you very much. Hope that you have enjoyed this class also.